Following a disappointing visit to New York City, Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe has arrived in Washington, D.C. for the second leg of his U.S. tour. So far, his itinerary at the Capitol has been unfolding smoothly, with no meetings falling through and none of the no-shows that he'd gotten from officials in New York. Today, Mayor Ke stopped by key federal departments and think tanks, where he had closed-door talks with current and former officials. His light, easy demeanor made it clear to the cameras that he was making good progress on his agenda. Flanked by his aides, Taipei Mayor Ke made his way into the White House's Eisenhower Executive Office building, where he stayed for nearly 40 minutes. <laughs> Upon becoming the third Taiwanese mayor to visit the White House, Ke didn't forget to check in on Facebook. Ke kept busy in the afternoon with a visit to the U.S. State Department, where he was received by East Asian and Pacific Affairs Bureau Director Hanscom Smith. Ke and officials sat down for a one-hour closed-door meeting. The U.S. will not interfere in the internal affairs of others, and especially because these are career diplomats and defense officials, they have a sense of political propriety. They won't come right out and ask if you want to run for president or whatever. They have their own ways to go about it. Besides visiting Washington state institutions, the mayor also paid calls to a number of prominent think tanks. At Brookings Institution, he was welcomed at the door by former AIT chairman Richard Bush. No, no, we were just exchanging opinions. The thing about a closed-door meeting is that it's closed-door. You must forget everything after you step out. So now I've forgotten everything. Uh, we had a very lively discussion. I think the communication was very good. Uh, we're very grateful for Mayor Ke to spend so much time with us. The two sides were tight-lipped over the contents of their discussion. But if the mayor's easy demeanor is any indication, he's making more gains here than he did in New York.